General Motors has a pretty significant reliance on South Korea. And I'm not talking about for its vehicles it makes in South Korea. I'm talking about for its electric cars it makes in the United States. Its reliance includes its one battery partner, LG Chem, a South Korean car company, and its biggest electric vehicle parts supplier, Hyundai Mobis. For the first five months of 2022, the second largest selling electric car brand or group was Hyundai slash Kia. But did you know that your electric car, if it's a Ford or a GM and it's made in the US, might actually be a significant percentage Hyundai? Not a lot of people know this, but the reality is parts group Hyundai Mobis was actually GM's supplier of the year and does supply General Motors with many of its electric vehicle parts. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. And one of the things I love to do on this channel is just to let people know a bit more about what's really going on in the automotive industry. So the world's largest car factory, by the way, is also a Hyundai factory and it has production of around 1.4 million vehicles per year. So Tesla's factory in Shanghai, which is projected to double in size by the end of 2023, will then become the largest factory in the world if that goes ahead and does happen. But let's get back to Hyundai Mobis. Hyundai Mobis is a South Korean owned company. It was actually founded as Hyundai Precision and Industries Corporation in 1977. And the company forms the parts and service arm for the South Korean automakers, Hyundai Motor Company, Genesis Motors, and Kia Motors. As of 2014, it was the world's sixth largest automotive parts supplier. So Hyundai Mobis is the parts and tech provider for South Korean automakers, Hyundai, Genesis, Kia, and others. And they revealed their North American EV expansion strategy recently. They're planning to, well, pretty much dominate the electric vehicle parts sector in the United States. It's worth keeping in mind, this is in fact a South Korean company. Yes, it does employ Americans in America, which is good. It's not owned directly by Americans. Well, that's not true. You can in fact invest in this company as they are publicly listed. As demand for electric vehicles continues growing, the sixth largest global parts supplier says having a strong production capacity is critical. So it's rapidly increasing its capabilities. It's expanding what it does in the US. Hyundai Mobis provides a wide range of parts and technology, such as vehicle chassis, safety products, and electronic stability control components for the Hyundai Motors Group, Kia, and Genesis. And it is getting to be quite the powerful company. Why? Well, in the first half of this year, Hyundai and Kia jumped from fifth in the world to third in the world. What am I talking about? Hyundai and Kia became the third largest automaker in the world over the first six months of this year. They produced and shipped 3.3 million cars for the first six months behind Volkswagen with 4 million and Toyota with 5.1 million meaning they leapfrogged the Renault-Nissan-Mitsubishi alliance, who delivered 3.14 million vehicles in the first six months of the year, and Stellantis, who delivered 3 million. For the first half of last year, Hyundai and Kia were in fifth place. Now they're in third. Now here's where things start to get a bit strange. And when you think about it, and you compare this company to what China is trying to do, it's sort of alarming that policymakers in the United States have taken no notice whatsoever of this South Korean car company, whilst they've blocked Chinese car companies and Chinese parts suppliers from doing similar things. In fact, I made a video about a year ago showing Congress lobbying against BYD and its companies that they've set up in the United States, which, by the way, are union affiliated and employ basically only Americans but they haven't done any lobbying against this South company who is much more of a threat in the United States than what BYD are. Furthermore, the auto supplier, Hyundai Mobis, which exclusively sold to Hyundai at first, 
opened up sales to other automakers such as Ford and General Motors a number of years ago. Hyundai Mobis was just named GM Supplier of the Year for the fifth consecutive year, meaning GM gets more electric vehicle parts from Hyundai Mobis than from anyone else. In fact, The Electric says that Hyundai Mobis has been a leader in electrification and EV components, introducing innovative technology like its e corner module prototype that combines steering, brake, suspension, and driving systems. The South Korean automaker is seeing success thus far in selling EV models. It sold 27,000 in the first five months of the year, including Hyundai's Ioniq 5 and the Kia EV6. In fact, the funny thing is here, right? The United States government paid Hyundai and Kia buyers seven and a half thousand US dollars for every EV they sold so far this year. However, Tesla buyers got nothing. General Motors buyers, same deal. So the irony is, the US government this year has been funding the growth and expansion of Hyundai and Kia and their parts company, the fifth largest in the world, at a greater rate this year than what it's been actually funding Tesla. Now, Kia and Hyundai as a group plan to capture 7% of the global EV market by 2030 with several EV models released across all brands. And Hyundai recently announced plans to speed up its timeline to build EVs in the US. Clearly, its tech and parts division will follow suit as they make the majority of the electric vehicle components going into Hyundai and Kia vehicles. And of course, they're also supplying Ford and they're also supplying General Motors in the United States. You can see here, this is starting to get a bit interesting. It's starting to make me wonder, is there too much reliance on Hyundai and Kia on for their EV production in the US now? Or will there be potentially in the future, considering this is something we want to support for American businesses? If the funding, right, if the funding is coming from the US government, should it be going to American-owned businesses and not to South Korean-owned ones? That's my question. So I'm wondering, what do you think about that? So after President Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act, among other climate initiatives into law. It then created a hotspot to build EVs and source battery components in the US. Hyundai Mobis plans to participate in North America's plans to accelerate electric vehicle adoption, the auto supplier's executive vice president, Axel Mashka, said. He said, Hyundai Mobis will construct more EV dedicated sites here in the region, and we will invest in EV components and battery system assemblies to allow rapid and environmentally optimized local production. And many of those EV parts will be going into American produced vehicles, General Motors and Ford, who won't be penalized for buying them because they're made by a Korean company, but it's in the US. With this in mind, Hyundai Mobis has four production facilities in the US, in Alabama, Georgia, Ohio, and Michigan so far, and plans to introduce a new EV components manufacturing site to build on its momentum. On top of this, the South Korean auto supplier revealed its game plan to boost North American sales with new technology, including an electric complete chassis platform module, ECCPM, next generation AR hub, virtual display to assist the driver, lightning grill, swivel display, and a range of other technologies. Hyundai Mobis has been quick to point out its success in mass producing other EV components, such as the battery system for its eGMP platform to assure its confidence in the upcoming electric vehicle transition in the United States. The tech supply has been growing steadily over the past few years in the US, with total order volume reaching 1.7 billion in the first half of 2022, compared to only 660 million in 2020. So it's growing at an insane pace. In fact, it's growing a lot faster than any American automotive manufacturer is outside of Tesla. Now, this is what I think. Hyundai Mobis and Hyundai and Kia, the family of brands here, this group here, has a big strategy for the United States. They plan to take as much advantage as they can of American subsidies, maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's not, I'm not so sure. And they plan on actually taking a huge percentage of the American automotive market. Sales of Hyundai EVs are climbing pretty quickly in the US and for good reason. Hyundai and Kia do make good electric cars, not enough of them, but they make good ones. In conjunction with that, 
Hyundai Mobis is introducing innovative new technology to push the market forward. And that technology is going into Ford vehicles and GM vehicles, electric ones. Now, I'm all for the electric revolution happening in the US. I'm all for car brands, whether they're US made or not, investing in electric cars in the US. But I'm not so sure it makes sense to actually financially support this South Korean car company while penalizing BYD. I'm not so sure that adds up. Now, BYD makes electric buses in the United States and a range of other commercial vehicles. And I think they're just as important as electric cars are. I also think it's strange that the US government has been supporting the growth of a South Korean company while penalizing the growth of its own companies, its own American companies, Tesla and GM, which it has been by taking their subsidies away and of course, continuing to give subsidies to Kia, Hyundai, and a range of other Japanese automakers in the US as well. However, the truth is here, all of this is contributing towards a revival in American manufacturing of electric cars. And that is probably the most important thing to focus on. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.